Summerfudge is out, summer's here, and there's only one way to start it. Need I say more? I'd be fooling if I wasn't gonna make Screaming Eagle my first ride of the summer. Two awesome rides on it. Once the front row, Zen ride, and then once the second back row, because two people showed up. Plus I wanted to ride again anyway, because I like my first ride so much. Usually I prefer the front row on this ride, but for today, I like the second back row quite a bit better. Like, I don't know what it was about that made it so much more fun. The airtime was a little strong, so that may have been it, but I don't know, I was laughing like crazy on that one. And overall, Screaming Eagle was running really well. The train was bouncing him around quite a bit in the first part of the ride in the second back, which I don't know, it's because it was rough or whatnot, but I mean, it might have been, but I don't have a headache from it. So as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't too bad. I have not seen Boss open yet. So I'm going to go down towards, I think, Rookie Racer, maybe try for Zen Ride on that one. It seems like there's no one here. So we might actually get a Zen Ride on this one. Their update of like what they're seeing on their end should be informing them that something isn't working. Well, there's some truth to that, uh, but at the same time, uh, every now and then you're going to want your, your race engineer, I guess, to to ask the the, the, the race engineer who you know is helping out through the race, but all the way down to the, to the uh, mechanic that was uh, drying off the racer's shoes that climbed in on wet day. I mean, he he would be able to walk in and just uh, strike up a car. twice each time so I essentially got eight laps on it. So that was awesome. Now I'm gonna ride boss and then start heading down to the justice. Well, I don't think it was quite as good as last week. Boss was amazing just now. I think they did some track work on this ride from what I noticed because the low to the ground turn after the second part of the double down and before the speed hill leading into the first turnaround, that whole turn was really smooth this time. Last week it had a little bit of a bite to it. It wasn't there this time, although I don't know that's because the file is on the right side this time, whereas in the past I've ridden on the left, but still, I'm really impressed how good this ride's running today. Forgot to mention that I saw a deer at the bottom of the first drop on this. I feel like I might have seen a deer near this ride before, but I don't remember when the last time I have, if I have some 
This coaster and Scream and Eagle for that matter are located in the woods, so it doesn't surprise me that deer somehow was near the mountain's first drop. <laughs> different Justice Leagues only on this summer. I'll be doing this one, the one at Six Flags over Texas, as well as the one at Six Flags over Georgia. I was going to say the first of four potential ones I'd be doing because I thought I was going to be able to go to Six Flags Great America in August as a trip to see Metallica in Chicago. And they also have a Justice League, but I don't think that's happening. So that's why I think I said first my 1500th max score, I thought things would be as they usually were. Unfortunately, the first screen is not working again. I sure hope that was just a fluke, but car two, none of the lasers showed up. So I really hope that it was just a fluke car and it was not the other one. But if the first screen is down again, that'd be unfortunate. I hate to break it to you guys, but the first screen is broken once again. That's gonna make things absurdly difficult. Still got it, but it was not easy at all. Although to be fair, I did use a glitch up blaster at least five times this past weekend, so maybe it's coming back to haunt me, but the first screen being down, not cool. <laughs>
Breeze was awesome, but I will say I definitely preferred Boss for today. Heck, I'd even say my second ride on Eagle was better than my ride on Freeze. That being said, Mr. Freeze is still really good and still my second favorite in this park overall. Ice cream does sound good, but I have Just when I thought we had no hope, Red Blaster Car 8, I got it. It's still glitched up from last week, and I maxed out the whole car without the first screen. And Ellis, you're still at 199, right? Yes, I am. I'm just shocked that the first screen has been acting up like it did on opening day. Yeah. We had some hope at first, because I saw on the security cameras, we saw lasers on the screen. Unfortunately, they were shooting white lasers, and white lasers being blank hits, and therefore they don't count your score. So, it's crazy thing that I maxed out the entire car without the first screen. So, that's just I can get car A red blaster. Yeah, because that's the one that was screwed up. So I think we're gonna go try boss now. Have you ever seen the dog game? for the first time for me at least since 2022 but i think that closed and now we have free clothes for lightning and they're still running boss like what is going on <laughs> was our friend. The first screen is back to being how it should be. And I maxed it. Only four screens because of it, which is awesome. That means Ellis can get us 200 finally. Man, we are just having a rough day with Justice League. That's three misses and four rides for me. I don't remember the last time I had such a bad track record with that. The first screen wasn't working initially, but when the power came back on, the second screen's not working. Yeah, it shows some weird Java message. I'm like, what is going on? But yeah, that really screwed us over. And for me, the, my blaster didn't work that well in the first screen, so I had like less than 200,000 after it. So I didn't even break 750,000. That's how disastrous that run was. So we really got to do better than that, man, which three misses in four rides. So that does not put a good image on me.
It's about time. Ellis, what'd you just do? I maxed it for the 200th time today. Very so, nice. Yeah. Took several tries, but we got it. And uh, we had red and yellow of car two. That was, I think, the best run of the day for both of us. Well, besides the glitch run I had earlier. But in terms of the ride he and I had, that was phenomenal. Like, we were pretty much neck and neck almost the whole ride. I think the coaches are still not open, which is crazy to think. I mean, I mean, I haven't heard of, like, Freeze running or anything, but I'm sure, like, Batman or Boss are open right now. As far as I'm concerned, at least. I mean, it is the last hour, so let's get it going, because don't want to stop at 200, am I right? No, I'm going to keep going, baby. Yeah. Yeah. We got about, I don't know, 40 minutes left, so let's make the most of it. What did it have after the second screen? I'm curious. I think it was like in the 700 something. In the 700s? I what? think so. That's what I kind of There's no way. There, I, I have been way higher I don't than remember. That. I feel like it was at least 900 something. Cause like we had like over 800,000 in the front row on each moment after the oh. first screen. So I feel like there's no way in heck that it was 700,000. It had to have been at least 900,000 by then. Fair enough. My final ride count from today was 15 on Justice League, eight on Rookie Racer, two on Boss, two on Scream and Eagle, and then one on Mr. Freeze. Today definitely had its ups and downs, but overall, I had a great day. Highlights from today, uh, the glitched up rides on Justice League, those are fun. Boss is running phenomenal. Mr. Freeze is good. Second back on Eagle is phenomenal. Overall, I really wouldn't have any major complaints. I'm the fact that the weather closed the rides down for a decent amount of the afternoon. And because I'm going to be coming here tomorrow with Ryan, let's make this a two-day vlog, because why not? So let's jump to day two. Day two, and I am starting by riding Catwoman with my first time ever. I am extremely nervous. I'm nervous this will feel like a free spin. Ryan over here says it does not feel like a free Spin. No, it's only one flip. Meanwhile, a free spin, you don't know what's happening. This one, you know what's happening. Oh, jeez. I mean, I'm doing this now before I go to parks with free spins later this summer. But I'm not riding any of the free spins in Texas because... You've already done them. Yeah, plus, I mean, if it was anything like Joker Great Adventure, which ever last year, it would have nearly knocked me out. You need to take your glasses off. Oh, I need to take my glasses off for it? Okay, yes. so I'll do that. I hate to say it, but I hated Catwoman Whip more than any other coach drive I've ever been on. I would rather replicate my horrendous experience on Joker at Six Flags Great Adventure than step foot on this thing ever again. You even said that felt like a free spin. Yeah, it was a little bit worse than most of the rides. And that was probably my least favorite ride on it, but it was so... I still liked it. I hated it. And keep in mind, each half cycle was the equivalent of like, what, three free spin rides? So that's basically riding an SNS free spin six times in a row. That was just absolutely horrible. Worst ride I've ever been on, period. Not even close. Then I did Eagle, which, I don't know, it helped me feel maybe a slight bit better, but I'm still not feeling that good. I mean, I somehow managed to get a Zen ride on it, though, which I, I did not. I was in front of Blue Train. You were in second front, back of Red. and then second to back. Yeah. I apologize if you like how Woman Whip. I am not a fan. I'm definitely a hater. I could definitely call it Bad Woman Whip, because that was literally terrible. Anyway, we're going down to the boss now, and hopefully that doesn't beat me up too bad. Boss was pretty solid, but my rides yesterday were definitely better. And now we're gonna try Justice League, see uh, if everything's working properly, because yesterday things were all screwed up. So let's see how we do. Everybody, clap your hands.
on crack today. Like seriously, <laughs> we just did a mini marathon on it. I did four rides, Ryan did five. I think we're in agreement the front is slightly better for today. Yeah, the ejector airtime off the top hat. It shouldn't be that strong on yeah. version. There's no reason. Back is still incredible. I mean, some days I like back better, but for today, I think the front is ever so slightly better, but it's really close. Before our most recent ride, I told him that this thing has better airtime than American <laughs> Thunder. Yes, it does now. Well, at least for now, and we're gonna go around American Thunder right now, so maybe that'll knock it out of the park, but who knows? As of now, Mr. Freeze is the best rider today. The king. Oh, We're both in agreement that American Thunder was better than Boston Screaming Eagle, but not Mr. Freeze. A little rough, but it was amazing. Yeah, we got front row blue train, which I think that's the best seat on the ride. Four clips of room, so pretty good. A bit rough, but it was by no means unbearable, so can't complain there. on Batman was really intense and the same can be said about Mr. Freeze in the front row just now. As for which I like better, I think I gotta say Mr. Freeze. This thing is running so good today. Side A as usual. Pretty good ride. Actually a really good ride for that matter.
you want to be 48 years old, they show you right on this street. Eagle. Hey, okay. I'm not told no. Boston Screaming Eagle for a second time a little bit ago, and both those rides were amazing. I was gonna get a rain ride on Boss now, but that went down, and says it is almost the last hour. I'm gonna start marathoning just this league, so let's get to it. I just double maxed Justice League for my first time this year, and I'm not counting all the entire car maxes, double maxes, obviously, as that is kind of cheating. And I feel really tired now, but boy, that was excellent. I don't know how I just got that double max right there. I had under 800,000 with the second blaster going into the last screen and I clutched it. Very few times am I impressed with myself, but this is one of them. because I've never done so well on the last screen. Unfortunately, they made the glitchy blaster not available to use, but I got blue, green, and blue of car eight and just nailed it. Had a good marathon on Justice League to end my day, and my final ride count was 14 on Justice League, five on Mr. Freeze, two on Boss and Screaming Eagle, and then one on American Thunder, Batman, and Catwoman. Which, as for what my total ride count was over the both days I was here, I'll review that. I never filmed an outro at the park, so I'll wrap it up here. My final ride count over both days was 29 on Justice League, eight on Rookie Racer, six on Mr. Freeze, four on Boss and Screaming Eagle, and one on American Thunder, Batman, and Catwoman. In terms of highlights from the first day, my second ride on Eagle was incredible getting to use the glitched up blaster a couple times and boss was running really well that day as well for the second day i would say it was the rides i got on mr freeze early in the morning those rides in particular were insane the four back-to-back -back ones i did and i did get a couple of double maxes on justice league which is also really cool that wraps up this vlog before you click out this video please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know if you're new to this channel like we saw please consider subscribing for more content like this my goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year so i'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks. Be sure to check me out there as well. Leave the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.